Hey, good morning, Tim. Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your Spectre 6. I uh, just got it done this morning. Got a majority of the work done uh, last night, actually, um, and then just did some touch-ups this morning. So uh, let's go over it. Um, put this all together. When you sent this to me, it was in the kit form. So got everything all together. This, of course, this button right here is gonna be your activation. And then over here, is going to be your auxiliary and this is actually going to act as your uh, your blaster trigger when you switch this red uh, toggle switch over to blaster mode so you've got that and then you got your uh, that's your blade retention screw right here there's a blue LED in here for your blaster um, and then what you can't see is the chassis in here um, with your board and I'll show you how to get board access here in a moment and then this guy right here, <clears throat> as you might know from my last video, uh, I don't put the recharge port here. Um, I use this window here as a tidy up section because when I run my wires, I run everything long enough to wire the board about right here, make sure everything works. I do all my testing and then I run everything back where it should be and I'm left with a bunch of wires right here. So what I do is I snip everything short, solder it together and then um, you know, lay it down real neatly right here and then close this door up. So that's what's going on right there. Um, you should never have to get into that door actually. So how we turn this on? Um, we're gonna unscrew the pummel cap. That comes off. You're gonna see your speaker right here. So um, when you're holding it like this, right? So uh, if you're holding it with your right hand, the piece of the staple is off to your right side. <laughs> You got your speaker right here. Um, I made this little tool. It's not much, it's just this guy. That's all, it's all really you need. So it's not necessarily used to pull the whole thing out, but the left side of that speaker, when you're looking at it like this, that's where the, uh, the, the micro Dean connector is at. So I just use this guy. I put it in the side right here on the left side and just kind of pop that Dean connector. I, um, you put it in there, turn it, and, pop the speaker loose, you'll see it pull forward a little bit. That's all it needs to do. And then you can just pop it with your wrist or your palm and catch that speaker and it falls out. So right here, you have your speaker. You got a micro Dean connector right here. This is a locating peg right here. I'm sorry, let me put this saber down. So this is a locating peg right here to help you put this in correctly. And this hole that I've got right here is just to uh, make clearance for your um, kill key that you have in there. Okay, so you can see your micro Dean connector, your kill key, and then if you look in there, you can see your board. You do have access to your SD card, and then that's the hole over on this side for your locating pin. So all you need to do is just reach in there and pull your kill key out. Um, I usually do it with a pair of tweezers. I forgot my tweezers before I sat down to make this video, so I'm just gonna use these guys. I'm gonna try to anyway, see if that works. So it doesn't work. I'm gonna grab my tweezers real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, last couple videos I've made, I've always, I've kind of forgot one thing and I've had to run off camera, so I, I'll do better at that. So apologies for that. Um, use just a pair of tweezers like this, right? If you have a pair of thin needle nose pliers, that'll work too. But you need to just get up in there and pull this kill key out. Just like that. So when I normally print these kill keys, they're round, but I chopped off um, one side off of each, you know, one of each side. So that it's just easier to grab. So obviously when you pull the kill key, you're not gonna hear a boot up sound because we don't have a speaker in. So I'm gonna take this in my hand here. Between the micro Dean connector, the locating pin and the holes, I'm gonna line this guy up. Throw it in there. Not gonna force it though. If you don't get it right away, just drop it back out into your hand and try it again. It's gonna take a little bit of doing.
Sometimes you get it on the first shot, sometimes it's gonna take you a time or two. There we go. So it, lo it, it located itself, I push it in slightly, made good connection, take my pommel cap, put it back on. I don't have a full length 7 8 blade, but I have this test blade. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the test blade in it. And then I will uh, tighten down the set screw as well, or the, the blade retention. This is in such a way that it can be a little awkward to get to, but you'll get it. So by this time, by the time we're done messing with the speaker and the blade and everything else, the board probably went to sleep. So we'll just hit the activation one time to wake it up. Sound energy critical. So sound energy critical, I just need to plug this guy into the charger. I just got this done, so I wanted to make this video for you. But as you can see, there's your blade. We'll turn it off. Activation here at the trigger, right? Sound energy critical. Now your auxiliary over here, we just tap for blaster deflex, hold it down for blade lockup, and now without touching anything except for the toggle clamp, if we go over here and we toggle this back or toggle this forward, it's automatically going to turn off the blade and then we want to hold down the auxiliary for your blaster. And then when you let go, the blaster stops. And then without touching anything, when you toggle back the blade, the blade will automatically turn back on. Just like that. And um, that's pretty much it. So we'll do it again. Sound energy critical. We'll toggle forward. Hold down the auxiliary. And we'll toggle back. And we'll turn the blade off. And then to um, turn this off, we'll just go in the opposite direction as we did, right? So we'll take the pommel cap off. Make sure we don't drop that. Use this tool right here. Remember, you're going to take this guy and you're just going to kind of pop it in the same side that the, as the Dean connector is on the speaker. So you can pop the speaker loose. And just have it fall out right in your hand like that. And then um, to put the kill key back in it, I usually put it back on the pair of tweezers. If I don't drop it. I'll just hold it with my tweezers like this, and put it right in the uh, recharge port. Give it a little push if you need to. And then that, of course that kills it. So that is your Saber Sir. If you got any questions, please let me know. If not, I'm gonna package this guy up and we'll get it out in the mail to you tomorrow. Thanks.